And welcome back. We are getting ready and set to get on into our first segment on this beautiful Friday morning. Uh, Nataraja Prince, I, I, you know, we could relate to it. It's cultural. An introduction to Indian dance, Bharatanatyam. In with us is none other than Duane Maria. Duane is here with us. You've been here with us already. Duane, good morning. morning. And welcome, welcome, brother. Welcome. Namaste. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. What's that? What's that? Namaste. Namaste. Meaning the divine being within me honors the divine, same divine being which is within you. That one word? That yes. one word. Namaste. Right. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Duane, you are actually venturing off into uh, teaching. Uh, you're giving, you're about to give lessons. Yes. Uh, can you talk to us about what's well, going on? A lot, be, a lot of people have been telling me, you're good so far, so far you've come a long way, so you should start teach. And I'm actually now ready to teach and I'm taking their advice. So I'm having classes, as the player said, mm -hmm. introduction to Indian classical dance, Bharat Natyam. Mm -hmm. It will take place every Tuesday and Thursday um, on King Street. Adjacent from where the Teddy's record studio is at. Mm. Um, the building is where none of the famous Mr. Uh, Stanley Moody has his building. The okay. place, okay. it's called Brickhoven. Mm -hmm. Brickhoven on, is on the side and where the building is at, it's, the room is on the other side. Okay. So, so Duane, tell us a little bit about uh, venturing into Indian music. We know you to promote Creole culture. Yes. Uh, you've been here before. Uh, with children, with other persons, teaching some who who you've taught some by and right. and the drum making process. Right. What made you shift over to uh, East Indian culture? I would say shift, uh -huh. but to have a balance. To of introduce. Both, to introduce. Yes. Um, well, one being mixed, I'm half Creole, half East Indian myself. Mm -hmm. So I know about my Creole side. So now it's to come to know about my East Indian heritage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. Research leads to one thing to the next, and you know you get to know about the names and yeah. it, the, the, the way of life, the spirituality, the religions, and then it just leads to where I'm at now, the the, the, the dance. Okay. And Bharat Natyam is three syllables of dif uh, different um, wording. So you have Bhava, which is to dance, to to express yourself. Raga is a facial expressions mm -hmm. and natyam actually means dance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's the facial expressions the music and then the actual dancing Bharat natyam originally came from south india in tamil nadu and it was originally a dance that was done all in the temples so technically you're a dancer for god mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and eventually in the after the 20th century, it then became outside of the temples and into the streets and different theaters and so forth. Mm -hmm. Where in India, throughout India, but mm -hmm. mostly in Tamil Nadu, it is where you have these dancers reenacting the stories, the Mahabharat, the Ramayana, uh, the, the Vedas. Mm -hmm. So people would dress, the actors are, they're not just dancers, but actually actors as well. Mm -hmm. So you become the character when you're in the attainment. Mm -hmm. So the males, for example, would wear the scarf around the chest and a dhoti. And there are some dhotis that are now ready-made that you could just haul on like a, put on like a pants. Mm -hmm. uh, traditionally wise, they would have a long cloth, like a sari, they would mm -hmm. use and was tight around them. And which that's I... What that's do. what you chose to do. Today. Now, what was the process like for your own discovery to learn more about this style of dance? And specifically thinking of the East Indian culture, we know it is very vibrant in the South. Mm -hmm. um, we know in Corozal, there's also organizations that have worked very hard, but in Belize City, not so not much. So much. So how did you go through your own discovery process? Again, it's through working with both of them. Yeah. With, I must commend you. Um, Ms. Sylvia Perez mm -hmm. and Ms. Scarlett Ramclam mm -hmm. yeah. Palacio. The two of them, if it wasn't for these two lovely ladies mm -hmm. and what they're doing, their dedication towards the culture, yeah. I wouldn't be doing this because, yeah. for example, Ms. Sylvia, she brought in a lot of these different uh, professional dancers, yeah. cooks and whatnot from Trinidad. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it's through that way that I learned mm -hmm. about 
this type of dancing and another type of dance called katak. But katak, I wasn't too keen on that. It has more of a fluid-like uh, movement to it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where Bharatanatyam has this sort of a fire element are more rigid. So you have two types of, or two aspects of Bharatanatyam, which is more the male aspect, which is called Tandava. Mm -hmm. And you have the female version, which is more still of a fluid, like more graceful, still with mm -hmm. a lot of jumping and twirls, mm -hmm. but Katak yeah. is more, uh, almost like a ballet. Oh, okay. And we here in Belize, we think of the Husemise, which is known as Jose or Moharam in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. as the only dance that oh. we have here. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So when people think of Isian dancing, they think, oh, only who say me say no. What I'm doing is something that I'm trying to bring back to tell people, hey, yes, we might not have the who say me say, but Bharatnatyam and all the dances are what our ancestors did yeah. way back then. And people or Hindu, Hindu Caribbean brothers and sisters in mm. Guyana, Trinidad, they still do Bharatnatyam. They still do Katak. Yeah. So now, when you approach Sylvia and um, Ms. Curlet. Curlet, thank you, um, from the South. Obviously, we've, we've had them on the set and they've brought young girls to dance. Yes. So you are a young man interested mm. in developing the style of dance for men in Belize. Right. So that's a new element. <laughs> um, and uh, what was their reaction and, and what has been the feedback you've gotten so far? The feedback from both Ms. Sylvia and Ms. Ms. Curlet is positive. Mm -hmm. They admire what I'm doing. I mean, Miss Sylvia would want to work with me and to, you know, promote more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, a lot, not from, not just from them, but a lot of people have been giving me encouragement. Okay. I mean, there are a few one and two people who are like, what is that? For what? Yeah. What, yeah. What, yeah. The I mean, the first time I went to uh, PG, and actually, I wasn't dressed like this. I had just a regular red scarf around my chest, mm -hmm. another scarf like the dhoti, pants, and another scarf wrong like the, the, the belt. Mm -hmm. So I came a long way from yeah. then to now. <laughs> and the first time I was on the stage, shy as ever, and everyone was like, like what are you going to do? Why are you dressed like that? Yeah. So the minute I came off, when I did my dance and came off the stage, Everybody was like, you need to come back. You need yeah. to come yeah. back and yeah. do justice because it's something we haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's something, not from an ego standpoint, but mm -hmm. I'm hoping I could be the one to at least, hey, revive it. Revive it. Yes. Yeah. And sh as I say, each one teach one. That's right. And the Bharatanatyam mm -hmm. for female, is it different? How different is it from the male? It's not so different because then I know in some cases there's a group in Tamil Nadu, they have their, their um, channel on YouTube. Mm -hmm. They would, how you would call it, gender swap. Mm -hmm. They dress like the Hindu gods and then they would have the same female roles. So then it's somewhat, I won't say taboo, but they're like, there are some cases that the male will play the male, mm -hmm. but the female will play the fe female and, and the male. The male. Okay. For example, there I've seen a dancer, she dresses like Shiva, and you could tell it's a female because of the bone structure and whatnot mm -hmm. of the face. But she she puts on like the uh, the mustache and all the stuff, and the crescent moon in Shiva's hair. So again, I guess because that group is only a female group, then that's mm -hmm. what they had to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now there are cases where you have both male and female dancers. Mm -hmm. So at times it done it's Bharat Natyam is done as a solo performance mm -hmm. and that's why the emotions the facial expression is so important because you're playing so much characters yeah. at the same time okay. if you're just one artist on the stage now if it's two people or more then it's an ease on you yeah have you done any work outside of Belize outside of the country mm -hmm. no what that's you, the goal that's the goal Trinidad yeah. or India that's the goal <laughs> yeah. and a person actually had came up to me and said why you don't try to get a scholarship and see if you could go and I, I was like that's a good idea mm -hmm. <laughs> so you'll be introducing uh, Barak Natyam uh, right. in uh, dance into into the country yes. and now you've got you've have you have do you have anybody lined up or signed up with you as yet so far four girls so far I mean it's not just 
I'm looking for uh, a balance then, yeah. male and female. And uh, like I said, male and female does do the dance. And I don't want nobody out there think, oh, it's a, a girl dance. I mean, of course, I'm a male, so I'm doing it. So male and females do, do the dance, mm -hmm. young and not so young. Mm -hmm. So And any culture? Uh, any culture. I'm not uh, singling out, singling out just, right. just East Indian right, right. or just... Right. I think, I think it's much more of not because it's a male or a female dance. I think it's much more to your cultural heritage. Yes. Because, of course, in the Garifuna culture, uh, there are female who would do different dances, but male, we do it as well. Right. So it, it should be more of that cultural, you know, that cultural feel. Now, right. what do I need to do or somebody need to do to eventually sign up to be a part of this dance? To sign up, you can register at Ticketmaster.com or you can contact me at 601-3900 or 669-8553. Mm -hmm. um, I think I forgot to mention the time. The time will yeah. be 1 till 2 p.m. Okay, um, when is it going to be? Tuesdays and Thursdays Tuesdays for six and weeks. Thursdays. Okay. And I'm realizing that school will be opening soon. So while I'm thinking to do when school do reopen, mm -hmm. I would then switch the time from 1 to 2 to after classes after, after school, school. Okay. okay so we're we're actually uh, um, looking for the younger ones much yes. more any any age range okay. yeah so yeah it, and um, you spoke about the uh, training that you want to do with the with the students for six weeks obviously they want to come and dance but important in understanding the dance that they're doing is the history behind yes. it are you integrating uh, the cultural knowledge as well yes yeah. of course of yeah course. I mean, in order to know where we're going, we need to know yeah. the history. Yeah. 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 Doing what has this process been like for you on a personal level? You know, delving into learning and especially being self-taught, uh, learning about your own history, which many of us don't do. Mm -hmm. um, it can it can be a transformative experience. It is. Tell me what it's been like for you. I mean, like I said, researching more and more. It's like jumping into the rabbit hole you just it goes on and on and on you don't know where it stopped and to the point for me personally i think i found not to say concrete but i think i've found a hypothesis as to which area of india my great grandparents came from oh, okay. and the name rabin singh was my family's original original name and singh is a name the sikhs use so the sikhs are mostly in punjab era mm -hmm. now the names like ram kalarinya that's more of a Tamil name. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, the Bharatanatyam dancing aspect of it has been uh, one that is very challenging at times because, I mean, the, for one, the material, the, the cloth, we don't have here in Belize. So then, when I would, like, for example, I found this in Belpan, yeah. <laughs> and I saw they had market there, and I was like, you guys have this? And so I, was like in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, pick, choose and refuse which one. I saw yeah. I grabbed this one. And so yeah. it's like, that's part of the challenge because we don't have the materials like that yeah. per se. Um, late nights thinking about, dreaming about to say, having a, a, a dance group so much that, you know, we could be on that level at Trinidad. We have our own Diwali Nagar mm -hmm. in the case of, mm -hmm. despite the, the ethnic group, mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. and celebrate with us. Let us show you what our ancestors believe through reenacting this, this story. So it's just as the way how we have uh, our brothers and sisters of the Garuna culture mm -hmm. and community reenacting their uh, arrival. Their arrival. Yeah. Right. So then let's come together and let's showcase the, the knowledge and the history of how our ancestors are about the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita. Mm -hmm. Let's have a festive time. In our time. I like that you mentioned that because uh, everybody would come out to celebrate, especially yes. with the Garifuna culture and the Yurume. Right. Now I notice you've got a dot in the middle of your right. forehead. What does it stand for? The, the, this dot is called the bindi. May, males would wear it like on special occasions or they would wear which is like a tilak. Tilak is like of, out of powder mm -hmm. or like um, turmeric, the yellow ginger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so each tilak symbolizes which aspect of God or goddess you, you are worship. a devotee of. Mm -hmm. So there's one of a U shape which is either white or yellow and that symbolizes you're a devotee of Krishna or Vishnu. Mm -hmm. um, that you are a, de you belong to that denomination that worship only Vishnu. There's one with three horizontal lines which symbolizes that you're a devotee of Mahadev or Shiva. Mm -hmm. And then there's the 
red dot or a vertical line mm -hmm. which symbolizes that you are a devotee of Shakti. Shakti is the mother goddess. Mm -hmm. And she, Shakti means power. Mm -hmm. And so it's the inner power or the Kundalini energy that is at the base which rises up the spinal cord to the top of the third eye. So that's what the spiritual aspect of it symbolizes. For example, that's why you see Mahadev with the third eye because it's his spiritual eye, which is mm -hmm. intuition, imagination. Oh. And when you, you read the, the energy reaches to the top of the head mm -hmm. with the thousand petals, that's where you become enlightened like Buddha. Mm -hmm. so. so there you go. Wow. Now you understand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you are starting the workshop next week? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next week, Tuesday. So you still have time for people to sign to up sign to up. participate. Yes. Um, how many people can you accommodate? I'm looking at least for at least 20. If okay. I don't have at least 20, then I'll settle for 10. Okay. But so far, four have signed up, and four is actually um, symbolizing of foundation. Wow. Yeah. So, so um, what would you say to people who probably think, listen, I, I, the dance looks too difficult. I may not be able to do it. Looks are deceiving. Mm -hmm. I mean, how will you know if you could do something or not unless you try it? Yeah. yeah. In, it's like if you're saying, I can't sing. How will you know if you can't sing? Everybody could sing, mm -hmm. but it's how good. You just need, you might have that inner, That's inner feeling, that yes. you, right? Mm -hmm. But you need someone to teach you yes. the, the vocal range and whatnot. So I'm not saying that I'm a professional with 20 years experience, but at least with what I have, mm -hmm. I'm ready and able to and willing to teach what I know. Is there a cost to it? To, 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 to the sign? cost is for registration is $50 mm -hmm. for registration and 25 per class. Okay. okay. So. so you're going to show us a sample? Yes. Right? Okay, so we're going to get ready. Actually, the, the, the song I'm about to do is more the traditional music. Okay. For example, the music I've been doing a lot of is more the modernized yeah. feel to it. Okay. But so today we'll see the traditional style. Right. So we'll get that flyer up about the workshop so people can get the details and you can go ahead and set up for your performance.
ಶಿವ ತ್ರೈಲೋಕ್ಯ ಶುಭಕರ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾಂಡವ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಆಹಿಮಾ ಆಹಿಮಾ ಭವ ಭಯ you had it and as you pointed out that was the traditional form come back over that was the traditional form of the music right yes okay the music is unlike what i've been doing these days the music i've noticed it has a more of a bollywood feel to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like i said excuse me that's okay no that does look exhausting <laughs> <laughs> like i said the music the dancer for example was actually done in the temples so it doesn't have that much uh movie feel to it Mm -hmm. like the music these days so it has less it has a more of a, 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 an acoustic feel to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we are now when it came out of the temples and into the streets and the theaters mm -hmm. it had that more live feel to it so mm -hmm. for example like the song the song Mary Dolness Son it can be done as Bharatanatyam style or Kathak style mm -hmm. okay. so Mary Dolness Son is actually a Bollywood song but it has like i said a bharatanatyam feel to it yeah now the traditional music we have seen and research it tells the stories of course but it doesn't seem to have a lot a uh, big flair to it mm -hmm. it's more you have the 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 musicians the musicians who are playing the dola drums the tabla drums the flutes and all that and at the same time the dancers are dancing so you have both aspects music and dance happening at the same time mm -hmm. now there were several things you said that are very integral in the dance and we saw it uh, your facial reaction was one it was a very stern face uh, why what is the music saying that makes you have that particular uh I, for sham for example shambo shambo shiva is talking about shiva so at times shiva is very calm at the same time he can be very angry mm -hmm. that's why i did this because it means fire coming out of his third eye mm. um. there's a story where shiva being a yogi he's mm -hmm. he, he wanted to be celibate he didn't want no children so the story goes that there was a demon who was ravaging through the whole entire cosmos and only the son of shiva could destroy this demon mm -hmm. but shiva said i don't want no son so all the other demigods tried to Please to Shiva, please have a son. And so then came along Mother Parvati, who fell in love with Shiva, but Shiva wasn't in love with her. So the god of love, Kamadev, took, who was like the Indian version of Cupid, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. took his arrow and bow and tried to pierce Shiva's heart. But Shiva was deep in meditation, and before the arrow could reach him, his third eye opened and burnt Kamadev to, to ash. Mm -hmm. So mm. he, wow Shiva can be his his name means auspicious mm -hmm. but he can be very angry at times for example another story is that he was um very angry that his wife Sati his other wife who was then reincarnated to Parvati mm -hmm. died because she was insulted that Shiva wasn't invited to a grand event mm. uh, a havan havan would be like a fire ritual where they pour uh ghee or purified got uh, butter mm -hmm. and offerings into a uh a fire mm -hmm. and she was insured that shiva couldn't go and she burnt herself in the fire upon hearing this uh, shiva became very angry and his anger side vibhara came out and he went on to destroy the the havan and the ceremony mm -hmm. and where he ended up uh unfortunately defeating his own would be father in law hmm. the his would be mother in law pleaded to him please give back my my husband's life back mm -hmm. and so shiva being you know uh willing to do that he mm -hmm. gave back daksha's life mm -hmm. uh, in the, instead of a human head he gave him yeah. the head of a goat mm. so i a lot of people may think that is uh something Satanic or yeah, it's not. It's, it's not. not. You know, and, and interesting. Yeah, it's 
I think it's exposure to new cultures sometimes that right. uh, people aren't always. We see things through our lens, right. um, so when we don't, when we hear of something new or different, uh, then it, it, it's hard for people to understand. But I love that you have taken the time to understand, yes. explore, and promote and I'm the East Indian culture, okay. and uh, that is a great way. Uh, I think to really get some momentum started in Belize, dance and music is always mm -hmm. one way to tap into the interests of people. So your workshop starts on Tuesday and, and uh, it continues every Tuesday and Thursday uh, for the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And once again, let's get your phone number so people can contact you. 601-3900 or 669-8553. All right, so people Excellent. can uh, come on out and send their children. Is it under 18 that you're willing to work with or any age? I'm saying I'm looking at 10 and up. 10 and, 10 up. and up. Okay, great. But that, very intense, very nice. Mm -hmm. Culture is what makes us who we are. Mm -hmm. But Duane, guess what? It is a Friday and here on Open Your Eyes, mm -hmm. we have this thing called Fun Friday. Mm -hmm. And because you're so into culture and you know a lot of music, mm -hmm. we've got a little game for you. And if you should win this game, you will be classed as the champ of the champ of the champ mm -hmm. of the Barak Natyam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so Duane, it's very easy. I think we'll be rolling some videos Video, or we'll be yeah. uh, listening to some songs and you, le and you list what's the genre of that, that, of that music. music. All, yeah. right. All right. So are you ready? Yes. Is that it? So we have a video of the dance. That's what okay, we're so we have, show. Okay, so we have. We gotta a video get it up on this screen so we can see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. So we have six, and we'll see how many you can guess. It'll, there'll be no music to it, so. <laughs> really? Let's see if you'll uh, guess the dance. All right. All right. Let's go to the first one. Um, that's more hip hop. <laughs> okay, do you know the it specific dance? <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you out. Okay. Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll. Yeah. That's the Tootsie Roll. All so right. let's check out the other one now. It used to be one of my favorite. Mm. Can you still do it? I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> you ready? You, 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 Can you, know you get the guess? Uh, give me the genre. So it looks like dance out to me. All right, you got right, dance out. Can you tell me? Remember back in the days, Dwayne? Come on, man. The pepper seed, man. All right. The pepper seed. The next one. Ah. Uh, I know this one. But I don't remember the name. Two set back. But. <laughs> that, that, that. Slide to the right. I know uh -huh. the name. <laughs> It's the electric, electric slide. slide. Yes. Okay. All right. Next one. I'm sure you're going to get this one, Dwayne. Yeah, this one is more recent. So, so far, you're at a point five. Yeah. <laughs> what genre? Hip hop. All right. That's another point five. So, you've got a point. Can you tell me what dance it is? Three, two, Harlem Shake, the way. <laughs> Harlem Shake. Like I said. Right. I'm, I'm sure you're going to get this one. I'll just jump this in on five points for you when you get it. Let's get the video. In, in, in Macarena. All right. <laughs> That's right, my buddy. The other one. <laughs> so far, you're at six points. Gang Gang style. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the last, the last right. uh, couple ones you got. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for trying. You got the genres right for all of them. So <laughs> that's a first step. All right. Well, we want to thank you for coming in thank today, you so very much. and we appreciate you sharing uh, what you have been spending your time, investing your time in, yes. learning about the East Indian culture, and now moving to the step of promoting it. So Duane has a workshop where he wants to teach uh, young people the dance, the barat. Barat Nayama dance. Mm -hmm. um, Barat Natyam. Yeah. All right. Barat Natyam <laughs> dance. Um, <laughs> and it starts this upcoming Tuesday. So do contact him so that you can be able to, to share in the experience. Right? So we're going to go ahead and take our break now. And uh, we have a flashback video coming up as well. And this one is taking us back to some kite making. So stay tuned. <laughs> 